have ruffled a few feathers. Apparently, I have made a few Dallas Cowboy fans angry at me. Oh, please, it ain't so, please, 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 it ain't so. <sighs> Jimmy J, or whatever it is you want to call yourself, boy. Whatever it is. Let me make one thing perfectly clear to you, boy. Let me make one thing perfectly clear and positively clear for all of you, for all of you. Let me explain myself. You see, I made that Dallas Cowboy call out to the Dallas Cowboys and to Jerry Jones for a reason. Do I truly hate them? Do I, am I truly not a Dallas Cowboys fan? <laughs> I am a Dallas Cowboys fan. That's why I made that video, man. That's why I did that. If I didn't care, I wouldn't have done it. I would not have done it. I wanted to tick off people, all right, but it wasn't you Dallas Cowboy fans. I knew I would face the backlash, but I, my true target was you, Dallas Cowboys and Jerry Jones. I wanted a lot of fire under you to make you realize, to make you understand this is no longer right. This is no longer acceptable. And that this problem is going on way, 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 way too long. Longer than two games, ladies and gentlemen. That is right. We have two games under our belt so far. Oh, yeah. And, but this problem, oh, yeah, has been going on way longer than that. You see, ever since Jimmy Johnson was fired by G. I wonder who. I wonder who did that. It was you, Jerry Jones yourself. Your ego got in your way. You can blame the newspapers. You can blame the media all you want. The truth of the matter is your ego got in the way, and that's why you fired Jimmy Johnson, the greatest coach we've ever had, by the way. And ever since Troy Aikman retired, it has never been the same. And as a Dallas Cowboy fan, and as all Dallas Cowboy fans, because of how loyal you are, and congratulations for being loyal. You have a right to be loyal, and I want you to be as loyal as you want to be. But you should also at the same time be as sick and tired of it as I am that this problem has been going on for long enough, and it's time it got fixed. Hell, it should have got fixed a long time ago should have gotten fixed a very long time ago, in fact, and we should have won way more Super Bowls than we have. Again, this has been going on long enough. I understand Dallas Cowboys ain't the only team in the NFL that's been having problems. Yeah, a lot of teams like Indianapolis Colts are having problems right now. A lot of teams are having problems right now. I get it. But see, the Dallas Cowboys are America's team, or should be, and was. We are way better, and should be way better than we are. We should be so much better, we should have fixed this problem, like I said, a long time ago, and dominated, annihilated, and assassinated, which means dominate, outlast. Assassinate, outwit. And dominate. Dominate. Dominate, annihilate, assassinate. Outwit, outplay, outsmart the other teams. Outrun them, outpass them, outdo them all. That's what the Dallas Cowboys of old used to do and used to be. And I have every right to want that back. And I know the players like Jimmy, John, or no, 
I know the coach like Jimmy Johnson, and I know players like Troy, I mean, David Smith, Michael Irvin, the Moose, Daryl Johnson, and all that. All of those players are not going to be able to come back. You won't. I get it. But I still want the Dallas Cowboys to to come back. Meaning I want the Dallas Cowboys to get their stuff in gear and start playing like the Cowboys of old. Again, this problem should have been fixed a long time ago and the fact that it has it disturbs me and it makes me sick. But that's it. Oh, Jimmy, yeah. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Whatever you call yourself. Mr. Response to D will over 159, yeah. You. I am a wrestling fan. Have been for years and will be for even more. And I said pro wrestling fan. Not pro circus wrestling fan. Pro wrestling fan. To such, such stars like Ric Flair, Undertaker, Kane, Sting, Trip, uh, Double A on Anderson, the missing link, the Von Eric boys, Flying Boy and Eric Gimmery. Jack the Jack dude love mankind. Mick Foley. You name it, I am a fan of all of them. And I'm not a John Cena fan, regardless of what you may think. And yeah, I use the catchphrase, if you want some, come get some, boy. <laughs> but that don't mean I'm a John Cena fan. I hate John Cena. I hate the character. I don't like John Cena. The character. Now, in closing, I will say this. Tony, you earned my respect for when you got out there there in San Francisco and won that game with a collapsed lung and cracked ribs. Broken, whatever. And no, 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 that doesn't mean I'm on the Tony Romo bandwagon again. Oh. Tony Romo's got to prove a whole lot more to me than that. That might sound harsh, that might sound cruel, but I am telling it like it is how I see it. If, if, I'm not, but I tell you, if they prove me wrong, I am mad enough to look them in the eye right now, you, Tony Romo, Jerry Jones, and the rest of you Dallas Cowboy players, if you prove me wrong this year, you do go to the Super Bowl. I will go to your Texas Stadium, your Cowboy Stadium, and I will look you all in the eye with a microphone and admit that I was wrong. That I was wrong. I guarantee it as I stay here tonight. You win the Super Bowl, I will meet you face to face, and I will admit to you, to your face, that I was wrong. Now, again, I'm a very strong, passionate man about my feelings, and I'm not afraid to get up here and express them. Not too many people can do that. Not too many people will do that. I do that, and I do it with pride. And if you don't like it, tough. You don't like it. Not my problem. Just saying. So. Old Jimmy J, or whatever you want to call yourself. Boy. <laughs> Put that in your pocket. And smoke.